A new multi-million dollar project to help modernize our military launches today right here in our state. Yeah, the Hartford County facility is designed to bring together the best and the brightest to make advances in defense technology. WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper explains not only what this means for the Army, but also for the community. We're just a few miles away from the Aberdeen Proving Ground, and the initials AMP above the door behind me give a hint at the type of work that will be done here, advanced manufacturing, materials, and processes. It's a complex title appropriate for the high-tech innovation in 3D printing that will take place in Harford County and eventually used in combat around the world. If you could do that at the point of need very efficiently and produce qualified parts that can just be printed on demand, that's a major change, a major disruption in the way the Army would do logistics. A group called the National Center for Manufacturing Sciences will oversee the AMP program, which brings together some of the brightest and best minds all under one roof. We're bringing together academia, some of our top institutions that we have around, as well as the government. So we have the Army Research Laboratory, as well as many of our nation's leading manufacturers are coming together, and we're working on things that don't even exist yet. The 3D printing project is a multi-million dollar investment in Aberdeen. There are a, a number of partners here. Uh, most of the funds are coming from uh, the federal government, and of course uh, that represents a contribution from federal taxpayers. Which is expected to pay off for Harford County and beyond. Army bases are always worried about what the next uh, downsizing or movements may bring. So this begins to give us an added uh, tool in our toolbox for economic development. All of this makes us a more lethal army, it makes us a more prepared army, and it will eventually help us uh, save lives and protect our nation's interests. In Aberdeen, Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.